Okay, in this next video segment, we're going to talk about installing the SSR roof panels with the valley condition. Now, the first thing you want to do is assess what you have uh, with your particular roof. And what I mean by that is that each roof is going to be a little different as far as the relation to the panels with your valley. Now, with our mock-up, we have our valley trim set to end at the end of our eave trim, which is going to put us approximately in here on the previous panel. Now you want to make sure that the valley is dumping off into a pan. You don't want it ending on top of a seam. If our panels were shifted over three or four inches, we would have to then extend the valley flashing to get the water to dump into the pan. Very important. You don't want to end up on a seam. Now Steve's got one of our panels that we've prepped. Now I want you to notice what we've done with the hem. We've still hemmed this panel but we haven't closed the hem off. We've got our hem at a 90 degree. And why, the, the reason for doing this is that you can't hold the panel up at an angle, hook the hem and drop it into place. What we're going to have to do with this is slide it up under. So after you've got the panel slid up and snapped into place, you can then come back and close the hem off. Now, what we've done with this, our 16 inches is going to dump us off into our dormer. So what we've had to do was notch this panel so that it can go around the dormer. Now when you notch that, make sure you leave enough material so that you can bend up one inch. And that's for a hold down cleat with a sidewall condition. And you'll see that when we do the sidewall. But just make sure you leave enough material to bend up that inch. Now, what we've done on this one We've left enough material here so that we can slide this up under where our overhang is. You want to try to keep as much roof material up underneath that to keep this roof dried in. And to accomplish that, we've held our, our angle flashing and our eave trim and the fascia off the opposite plane of the roof enough to where we can slide this material under it. Now another thing you need to think about when you're doing these is layering these. We've got three pieces that are going to make up this run. We've got the bottom piece of SSR, we've got our valley flashing, and we have the upper piece of SSR. Now when you're layering these, you always think about the flow of the water. The water is always going to be coming down the roof. The bottom piece goes underneath the valley flashing, the valley flashing goes underneath the upper piece. That way the water is going to flow over those pieces and it's not going to flow underneath one of them. Very important with all roofing. Now, another thing that we're going to have with this, you always end up with an overlap situation because we have two panels to make up this run. Now, in order to accomplish that, on the female leg, this is the part that snaps on the male leg. Now, what we've done is we've cut this snapping portion out of this so that when the upper panel will come over top of this, the upper panel will snap in this location. Now if this isn't perfectly clear, when you get ready to uh, snap that high piece in, you'll see how this all goes together. Okay, now that we've got our panel cut, we've thought about uh, what's going on here, we're ready to start dropping this panel in.